Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a limited access problem for your Wi-Fi on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in control panel. Best match, circle back with control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to either large or small icons. Preferably, I would say large icons. And then locate power options on this list down here. So go ahead and left click on that. Underneath whatever plan is currently selected, you want to go across from it and then left click on change plan settings. Change advanced power settings. So now that you are in here, you want to go expand the wireless adapter setting. So right here, click on the little plus sign next to it. And there should be a power saving mode option underneath. Expand that one as well. Now you want to click inside of it. So if there's an option for on battery or plugged in, you want to go inside both of them and then go and switch them over to maximum performance. So click inside of the whatever is currently listed there. And then it should appear as a drop down. So then just go ahead and select maximum performance. So if you have an option for on battery, you want to do the same thing for that one as well. So again, maximum performance. And then go ahead and select apply and OK. And once you know what that, close out of here. Open up the store menu, type in device manager. Best match to go back with device manager. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to expand the network adapter section. So either double click on it or left click on the arrow next to it. And then whatever network adapter is listed under here. So it should be the network connection. You want to right click on that. Select properties. Select the power management tab. And then you want to uncheck where it says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. And then select OK. Now that you've done that, you want to go right click on the network adapter again and then select update driver. Search automatically for updated driver software. Okay, so to say the best drivers for your device are already installed, it might say that, so click on close. You can also try right clicking on it and then update driver and then select browse my computer for driver software. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then just go ahead and select the one from the list here and then select next. So it should say Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Select close. We're just closing out of here and hopefully that has resolved your problem. Again, we've already reset the network. We went in and we turned off some power options so it should not be turning off your Wi-Fi even when you sleep your computer. So we're kind of addressing a few different potential issues with that. You can also attempt a system restore as well. So I know it sounds a little unorthodox, but it definitely, you know, could maybe produce something in there as well. I've seen crazier things happen with Windows in the past. So, you know, it definitely worth a shot. So I just want to throw that out there. Do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.